Hey guys, this is a 2007 Ford Focus uh, convertible. We've got the problem here with the lock that snapped and it won't open a bonnet. So the videos that I saw on uh, getting into this was everyone said you had to smash this thing out to get to it. Okay, someone did a very good video about smashing this off and he built this thing to open it, right? But he didn't show you how he built it and uh, all the rest of it. So. I've done it a bit of a different way. I've managed to do it without smashing anything out. So all I did was this is my bonnet grill here. I gripped it there and I just yanked it. Not yanked, I just I just vibrated it and vibrated it with a pair of gloves on. Right, I pulled it, I heard some crack, which I know what it is now, it's just a piece of plastic. Okay, and I managed to pull that off. Right? And that thing there, which sits in there. I just, I just pulled, I basically, I just pulled it and pulled it until it came apart. I just vibrated it. So what happens is it's fixed in with these plastic screws. They just, they just come off. Okay. So once you do that, you've got this thing here that was attached. You've got this thing here that was attached there and it was, a, I just, just pull it out. Okay. You might have to do, you might have to crack it off. Uh, I managed to pull it out pretty easily. Okay. Once you pull it out, Get a flat-headed screwdriver, put it inside there, okay, just as the key thing would, and then twist one to the left. Well, I've done the one to the left, okay, one to the right. Okay, and then we can open the bonnet, and then I'm going to show you now what's under here, okay? So, because also, on these videos, no one showed you. So... We've got our bonnet open, we've vibrated that thing off, we've pulled it off. Okay, so that thing there, look, it's just held in with these plastic screws around here. Alright, so they're quite easy to undo. Or if you just if you just pull it off like I did, they just pop out. Okay, so if we look inside there, it has like a little T thing. Okay, that's where your thing goes in and it twists it left and right and you can see the thing moving there. Okay, left and right. So what happened with mine... Here's the thing here, it snapped. Okay, so that was that, and it snapped, so that thing wasn't moving. All right, so I tried fixing it a load. I tried gluing that thing in there, I tried loads of different things, uh, and basically, it just doesn't work. So, what I'm gonna do is, hang on. Okay, so here's my things. What I intend to do is I just bought this thing here from the builders merchants and I think everything just fits into it nicely so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this out of here all right I'm gone just one minute just put this down here one sec I did it before it'll come out again okay so we've established before how we took this off without breaking it I grabbed it like that and I shook it until it come out and then plastic little rivets came out so you I ripped that off so basically this is that okay there's a the problem with mine that was snapped so normally you turn it and the whole thing would turn right but mine was snapped so that's basically useless it just had a piece of plastic on it so that went from there to there so all you need really is that piece of plastic there okay how i'm going to fix it i've glued it in there so i can't actually remove it from that but it doesn't matter i want it like that next thing i'm going to do is here's what I bought from Bunnings Warehouse. You could get it from anywhere. It's a 300 mil water hose connector. Okay. What I'm going to use is this stuff. This is liquid steel. It's called Need It in Australia and England. It's called liquid steel. I'm going to mix some of that up. I'm going to push it down that hole there, and I'm going to squeeze that into it until that sets in position. Right. Reason being, we're going to put it in there. And as you can see, it, we, we can twist that, and that still. Come here, so you can see that still. That still does what we want, but we're going to set that in position in there. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this, and I'm going to fix it in there because it's very tight as it is. I'm going to get a Stanley knife. I'm going to fix that in position. The reason being, once that is set in position, you can twist it like that. Okay. So the whole thing is going to twist like that, right? And that's going to open and close it. And I'm going to cut that where it meets where it meets there. Once once I've got that in, I'm going to I'm going to cut that flat. And what I'm going to do 
is this is another one if you look your key bonnet fits in there perfectly okay so again using this stuff which sets in like 20 minutes i'm gonna i'm gonna fill that up and i'm gonna make a, a perfect thing so my key slots in there so it's set solid so the idea being my key is gonna twist that that way and that way opening my bonnet obviously not in that one but in that one like that next thing i'm gonna do is i bought one of these it's a it's, it's a it's a it's a 20 millimeter next thing I, I, what i bought is this 20 millimeter pipe now if you look it fits in here absolutely perfectly i'm going to glue that in place there wait a minute can you see can you see that okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to cut that at the right place and what we'll find with this pipe is that me one of these once i've cut that to the length fits perfectly everything just fits like a glove and i just bought this is just just while i was in there I didn't even measure anything so that we're gonna put that from there to there that's got a little bit of bend in it that'll be good and then we're gonna we're gonna have our key thing so hopefully it should work and we'll see how we go okay and by the way we're gonna jubilee clip that in there i'm gonna glue that in there like that okay i'm gonna do it i'll do a video at the end see you later okay so all i've done here is i've put that black i'm just measuring up for the black pipe that's gone through there it's a 20 mil pipe and if you look closely look that slip that slides it's got little slots there so like i say you can just vibrate that out so it all just slots in okay so i'm just gonna put that in situ there and cut it and we'll get an idea of length okay okay so as you can see all i've done there is i've got the 20 mil pipe and i've put it cut it to the length that i want it that bonnet it's not fixed or anything it's that grill it's just in place so with that with this thing here all i've done is i've just cut it just comes with two ends i just cut that end off so that it slides inside that pipe there and i've trimmed that plastic around here so that that is going to be a nice tight fit in there and i'm also going to use i'm going to use a jubilee clip uh, which is that and I'm gonna jubilee clip it in place and I'm also gonna use that no more nails that you know that need it liquid steel I'm gonna fix that in place so let's get this put it through here now I apologize for the filming the children wouldn't come out and help me oh hang on a minute okay so I've decided to use this bit in here which is a 500 mil mixer hose with an end like that the reason being it's a much more sturdier end for my key so i'm going to have that coming out there for my key to fit in there which we'll twists that like that when that's in place which the inside bit will open the thing because this i'm going to glue inside there like I said before, so that'll be fixed inside there, so we'll be able to twist it. So here's one I just cut before, that was going to fit in there, but I found that the end was too flimsy. Okay, would have been hard getting the kids to sit in there, which is why I'm going to use that one. Okay, plus I cut it a touch too short. Okay, so that one fits beautifully in there now. It's inside there, okay. All we're going to do now is glue this in there, like that. And then we've got our turning mechanism and we're going to make that, we're going to put the normal nails in there and make a thing so when the key goes in it twists it, okay? Actually, just to show you, that sits in absolutely beautiful, that even goes right in that hole, it's going to be really good, okay? Okay, so all I've done there is glued that, I filled it with the uh, with a liquid steel inside and I'm just ramming it inside there now filling it up so not only does it get that a bite on it once I've got that in I'm gonna get my key and I'm gonna set a little hole inside there okay so the key fits in it got to be quick because it sets pretty quick okay so we can see what we've done there filled that with liquid steel push me key inside I don't want to film so I'm just gonna have to try and do this the best I can so I wet the key so it slides in and out. Look, 
that's left the that the rest is filled with liquid steel now that'll set solid and it's got the same indentation as the key and we're pretty much nearly done i need to clean the stuff off that key as well for it sets okay so that's it's all it's pretty much setting now one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get this jubilee clip and i'm going to put it there i'm going to overlap that with the plastic thing there uh to see if i can get a better a better bite so with it, that, that plastic sets solid inside that don't forget that's all filled up with liquid steel so that's setting now but i'm gonna i'm gonna the outer skin i'm gonna put that on i'm gonna tighten that up so it's set solid okay so i had to cut away that plastic around there but as you can see i've got the movement okay so both of them are moving and that's that's in place so once that sets put it back together and i think we're good to go Okay, so there we are, just, it's not screwed up in place yet, but I'm not trying to do that yet because I want that to set, I don't want to, I don't want to knacker it at this last stage, so basically I just put this back on here, I've lost all the black screws here, I can't remember where, where I put them, so I'm just going to go scrappers and get them, I'll put this back together now, which way has that gone, uh, I'll suss it out in a minute, should be good to go. Okay, moment of truth. Here's my key. This is the next day. Come and film in here. Our stuff has set inside there. And also, something I should point out, unbelievably, I'm going to get a 15mm bolt. I'm going to hold that in position. I, do, I thought I'd done it too far, but that is going to be beautiful. I'm going to set it in position. Uh, and then we're going to... Okay, ready? Key goes in. One twist, two twist, and look at that, fixed, sir. Okie dokie, so there we go. We know that's not going to come down because I've, it's, it's, it's in there, proper. Uh, and there you go, beautiful looking fix, you don't even see it. And you still use your key, and like I say, I'm going to get a 15 mil bolt for that. And what's it cost me? It cost me fifteen dollars for that, for the for the thing that I showed you before, that pipe adapter thing. I think about twenty five dollars all up. And I know there's a way where you can buy this thing here. You can buy it on eBay, but I just know that would be impossible to fit. I've seen I've seen a video of them doing it, and it just looks impossible. So there we go. There's my fix. Absolutely perfect. Uh, all I need to do is just go and get these screws now. I can't remember where I put them and just screw that back together. The job is a good one. Just show you that one more time. Okay. Click open. Twist to the right and done.